Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we're talking all about Typeform. Typeform is an amazing, very beautifully human form creation software that allows you to do so many cool things. Now, before I give you a demo, let's talk about what we're going to cover on today's episode. Firstly, why do you need form software in your business at all? Why you would choose Typeform over other software? Setting up your account. Configuring the main elements of Typeform. Creating your first form. Configuring conditional logic and prompting. Setting up the notifications. Embedding and testing your forms. And finally, what else you can do with Typeform. All right, let's get started. Now, before we even kind of go into further explanation um, about why you need form software in your business, I want to do things a little bit differently today and hop onto the computer just for a few seconds to show you what Typeform looks like so that you have an idea. Okay, so let's hop on. I'm just at the landing page of Typeform, typeform.com. And you can see here it says goodbye forms and hello type forms. And you can see that um, the background colors are quite colorful. There's a lot of responsiveness happening on different devices. A lot of movement, moving and shaking. <laughs> uh, pictures, graphics, uh, and it looks kind of fun and also functional. So essentially type form is form generation software. Right? And so for those of you who are maybe just starting off in business, forms are a great way to begin to centralize information in your business. Of course, you need a form on your website for contact information when people want to get in touch with you. That's one form. But you know you can also have other forms that you send out to your customers around initial consultations, um, maybe for requesting information such as a questionnaire. You can use forms for just about anything. And Typeform is really cool because it comes pre-configured with loads of different options and it allows you to also do things like accept payment, to do event registration, and there's just a whole heap of stuff that you can do. So the thing with forms is that there are a lot of different uh, options for you to pick from. Um, let's say you have email marketing software. Even to collect an email address on a website is a type of form. Right? So we want to make sure that we're sort of centralizing all of our forms within our business. And definitely Typeform is a, a way that you can do this. Now, why would you think about using Typeform over some of the other options, especially the ones that we've talked about here on Teach Me Tech, such as Jotform, Wufu, Gravity Forms for your WordPress website, for example? Why would we pick Typeform? Well, we're going to go into a lot more detail around it. But I would say from my outside perspective that Typeform is great for those sort of design-oriented businesses, businesses that have got a brand that's really fresh, fun, intuitive, maybe have got a bit of humor because of the way the forms actually work. So the answer to why you need form software in your business is that, well, you have to have forms. You've got to collect information. Everybody's got to have a way to do that in their business. Why would you choose Typeform over other software? Again, we'll go through the demo. Um, and really, I want to just sort of get started with this and not waste a lot of time and just go in and set up your account. Um, but before we do that, I would like to give a couple of examples of how Typeform can be used. So let's hop onto the computer. And how can I use Typeform comes up here in the middle. There are a bunch of different options that you've got. It says, hey, stranger, I'm dying to get to know you better. Talk to me. That's a very interesting um, uh, sort of suggestion for a contact form. Um, you can get information collected. We'll just click talk to me. You can put in your name. And see how it pops between different fields? This is something that other boring forms don't have, right? Have you ever just filled in that white box and then gone between fields? With Typeform, everything looks three-dimensional. 
and has got a bit of movement. So you see how that field, when I clicked on female, it just kind of popped out and had a little bit of movement before it toggling immediately to the next field. It's so cool. So if you've got a really fun brand, Typeform could be a great complement to that. Which country do I call home? And then you can start typing Australia and then the options come up. Which of these scenes makes you feel happiest? Of course the beach. Come on. And then it shows you here at the bottom how much is complete. Um, there we go. Um, and you can click OK or continue to keep moving on. Now some other options. You can get insights or do surveys. Okay, so it could be a social media survey, for example. You could do registration for an event. <laughs> Beauty conference. Um, you can choose your ticket type, for example. Um, and I love how they allow embedding for different images in the background as well. I just think it looks really cool. Um, and I just love the way as well that they crafted a lot of the text and the copy to make it look kind of funky and different than a regular form. Uh, you can accept payment again directly through forms. It could be, I guess, for an event or if you have a one-off product, it would be a great way to accept payment for that rather than setting up a full e-commerce platform. Um, so let's say we want to buy the, I don't know, which one do you like best? I actually kind of like this pattern shirt. I want extra small. My first name, last name, email. See how it just goes through and toggles and just makes things really simple? Typeform is great for that. Rather than it just being embedded in your website, for example, and um, having people just go through the boring kind of rigmarole of filling in a form, you can make your forms incredibly, incredibly visual. Some other examples here, just around knowledge. So I'm not sure what they mean by knowledge. I guess it could just be for a quiz. Um, and let's look at some more examples just because this is fun. We want to get you to have some different ideas. Um, job application forms, suggestion boxes, oh that's good, incident reports. Um, could be a branding questionnaire for if you're a branding company. Um, could be for around lead generation, um, registrations, order forms if you have a product. Again, like we mentioned before with the shirts, you could do it for cakes or a bakery. If you're a photographer, you could get your customers to sign up for your photography sessions by filling in the initial consultation. And Typeform can actually calculate the final price for you. It's amazing. Um, so it doesn't matter what kind of business you've got. Look at all these other options. Trivia quizzes, you could do avatar creations, polls, party invitations. There's just so many different options for you here. Um, so hopefully you're a little bit more sold on why you would use Typeform versus another kind of form generation tool. And when you are finally ready to sign up for your account, what you can do here is just say get started in the upper right hand corner. And all you've got to do is just say create new type form. And immediately you're ready to get started. Okay, um, we'll just click on this again. Um, so you can either start from scratch or use a template. So even before you've signed up for your account, you can start building your form. What we'll do is we'll actually start by saving our account. We'll do name or nickname. Um, we'll do John um, and admin at demo.company. Okay. Okay. So what do we do? We're a business. What are we going to use Typeform for? We're going to use it for customer service. Ooh, that's another good example is sending out feedback forms to your customers. Um, so with the free version, guys, you can send up to one, you, I'm sorry, you can receive up to 100 responses per month for free, but you have to upgrade your plan to get unlimited responses. So before we go too deep, let's go to Typeform pricing. And I'll just run, this, run through this with you. So for basic, you can get started for free. And after that, it's 35 USD per month for the pro. 
which allows you to do conditional logic jumps, which we'll talk about a little bit later. You'll be able to do calculators to calculate a score or a price for your customers. Custom thank you screens. You can have hidden fields, payment fields, file uploads if you're collecting uh, information that way. Um, and then if you upgrade to the Pro Plus version, you can actually remove the branding and um, have additional team members even do redirections upon submission. But I would say for you, get started on the free version and then decide if you want to upload, uh, upload, uh, upgrade later. All right, so let's go back. Basically, we have already logged in with our account and you see that John Doe's come up in the upper right hand corner. All you've got to do is just go to my account if you ever want to update your settings. And you can always go in and edit your URL. So we can be demo company. For example, it's always a good practice to do that. Um, you can have an API key. And then, of course, Typeform integrates with Stripe, which you know I'm always going on and on about Stripe. So you can click to do a single sign-on connection with Stripe. In addition, you can go in and upgrade your plan or downgrade your plan or view invoices here under plan and billing. Now, I would love to tell you that there are so many more things that you need to configure with Typeform, but actually this is it. Out of the box, you can just get started. So let's take a short break, and when we come back, I'll walk you through setting up your first form, and we'll get into the meaty, gritty parts of this. Thanks. Hello and welcome back to Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we're talking all about Typeform, a really awesome and cool visual form creation software where you can create any kind of form and add your own personal touch and flair to it. So let's hop back on the computer and I'll walk you guys through how to set up your first form. Now we've already configured our account, so you'll see that's pretty much already been done just on that one screen. And we can always click the back button here in the bottom left-hand corner to um, toggle back and forth between uh, the sidebar and the full screen. And then to access our forms, we go back to Workspaces, and you can click on My Workspace. Now, it's called My Workspace because that's what they call the workspaces by default. It's essentially a group of forms. So if you are running more than one business, you can have more than one workspace. Or you could, for example, segment your customer service forms in one area. So let's just click the tick and we'll save it. And we can add, of course, additional users in if we want to. But let's just get started and create our first form first. So get started here. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.